this time let's learn about what are the differences between series and parallel connections so if it is a series here let's say you have two resistors resistor a and the resistor b okay resistors which are schematically drawn as in zigzag lines do not have polarities ibig sabihin wala yung positive and negative terminals which means kahit pabaliktad or balibaliktad mo siyang ikabit sa circuit it doesn't change the value of the resistance connected so kapag series daw po ang circuit since wala siyang polarity walang terminal yung ating resistor pangalanan natin so halimbawa syempre may two sides lagi yung yung component natin ano although it's not necessary or it's not usually done pwede natin ito pangalang pangalan ng uh, terminal A terminal B of resistor A and let's say this is terminal C and terminal D of resistor B okay so kapag series daw ang circuit kailangan if you have two components tigisa lang sa dalawang ito tigisa lang sa dalawang terminals ng bawat resistor na to ang magkakabit so, pwedeng series ito, series A and B, tapos si BC lang ang connected. So, isang terminal kay A, isang terminal kay B. Pag kinonect mo yon, that would be series provided si A nakakabit sa ibang part ng circuit at si B nakakabit din sa ibang part din ng circuit na hindi kaparehas kung saan nakakabit si A. Halimbawa, ibalik ulit natin si resistor A at si resistor B. So, this is again terminal A, terminal B. This is terminal C, terminal D. If we have a long wire that would connect terminal A papunta kay D, still, the connection is series kasi tigisa lang na terminal ng bawat isang resistor ang magkakabit. Compare that to parallel, In parallel circuits, let's say you have resistor A, ulit, and resistor B. Let's say resistor A has terminals A and B, resistor B has terminal C and D. You would know that the resistances are connected in parallel if both, um, if one terminal of resistor A is connected to the other terminal of resistor B and the remaining terminal of resistor A is connected to the remaining terminal of resist resistor B. That would be a parallel connection especially if there are other connected components in the circuit. Okay. What confuses people when they identify between series and parallel binabase nila dun sa itsura. Majority of the times, you would see series circuit siya kasi makikita mo nakahanay or nakahilera yung mga resistances and they are simply connected by a line. At kapag parallel naman, mapapansin mo, magkatapat yung resistances and they are connected together. Okay? But that is not the usual case. Pwedeng ganito yung itsura ng connection. Ah, pwedeng ganito yung placement ng resistors mo. Let's say, punta tayo sa series connected. Tapos you have three resistors here. Let's say, this is resistor A, B, and C. Let's put terminals. A, B, C, D, E, and F. And as you're going to notice, magkakatapat yung resistor natin. Pero pwede nating sabihin na series connected yan kung i-observe natin paano connected yung mga terminals or ends ng resistor. So, this would be considered series if CB nakakabit kay D and A and C are not touching each other and C is connected to E. So, if you're going to trace isang line yung nagko-connect sa tatlong resistors, thus it is series connected. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na magkakatapat yung resistor mo, automatic parallel agad. Kailangan titingnan nyo yung ends or terminals of the components, how they are connected. Okay? 
pwede rin namang magkaka, um, nakahanay yung resistors natin. Let's say this is resistor A, resistor B, resistor C. So, you have A, B, and C. Terminals A, B, C, D, and E, F. Okay. But for me to show you that kahit nakahanay ito, I can connect this in parallel. Kailangan, di ba sabi? Kailangan um, point to point or terminal, each of the two terminals of one resistor is connected to the two terminals of another resistor. So, ang pwede natin gawin dito, pwede natin i-connect si A, papunta kay B in parallel, we'll connect B, C. Sa so, itsurang yan, series siya. Pero, kapag kinonect mo si A, papunta kay B, Although sa itsurang to, series pa rin siya ha. Kasi isang loop pa lang to. But when C enters into the connection, dun pa lang magiging parallel ang connection na to. I can connect C. Punta dito kay E. And I can connect D. Punta kay L. And that is parallel connected. Because as you can see, yung isang dulo ni C, nandun sa kabilang dulo ni B, at yung natirang dulo, or terminal ni C, which is F, nakakonect dun sa kabilang dulo. Or sa kabilang terminal ni resistor B. Thus, this is connected parallel. If you wish to redraw this, pwede mo namang i-connect yan ng, ng tapat-tapat. So, mag-drawing tayo ng tatlong resistor. Tapos, i-trace mo lang paano siya connected. So, Kuha ka ng, let's say, resistor, uh, resistor A, terminals A and B. Tapos, i-trace mo lang. So, in terminal A, sundan mo yung wire. Ang nakakabit sa kanya ay C, D. So, let's say, ito yung terminal D na resistor B. Ibig sabihin, yung kabilang dulo nito, automatic would be C. So, sabi dito, itong linya na to, this connects A papunta kay D. So, you'll have, you'll have a line that connects A to D in this redrawing. Tapos, si B nakakabit kay C. So, from here, pwede mo nang indiretso to. That shows, magkatapat sila in parallel connected. So, if we're going to trace, terminal C connected siya kay E. So, paano hindi na tayo mahirapan sa wire? Itapat mo na. E, kung ito yung C, terminal C, kay resistor E, dito mo ilagay si terminal E. Para if C is connected to E, diretso na to dito. Ibig sabihin, yung kabilang dulo ni E, for resistor C would be F. And saan nakakabit si F? Si F ay nakakabit niya ay D. Ayun. So, this tricky connection is simply just a parallel arrangement.